welcome back from more good vibes and video games and i almost forgot to turn my lights on <gasps> oh that looks good i like the new color scheme all right back to business i am so ready to jump back into hogwarts legacy today it's been a bit since i've been able to play this game once again i feel like i've said that a lot recently all right no more talking from me thank you guys so much for being here and clicking on the video let's jump back into hogwarts legacy mysterious and a bit unsettling what to do what to do what to do as per usual i am starting this up with no plan whatsoever i just want to let the game tell me what i need to see <laughs> the last time i believe we finished off one of sebastian's quests having to do with anne and helping her heal so i wonder if we'll be getting a follow-up i feel like we'll be getting at least one more follow-up with that last time was really intense that's right sebastian killed his uncle and i think lost the support of Anne as a result so in the process of helping her he kind of pushed her away so that's just it's always really interesting to see those types of stories where that happens because the very thing that the person is wanting to protect ends up kind of shunning them for the choices that they that that they make so i'm excited to see how this this all ends we have go to the map chamber to talk to San Bakar, and we have- oh, I still have so many treasure maps, but I think I'm just gonna end up doing those later. <gasps> oh, hold that thought. I know exactly how I'm gonna start this episode. See? Just inspiration. I love it when it hits me. Okay, let's do it. I was gonna leave it a surprise, but I can't help it. Um, we're going to figure out what's in that secret door with the key that we found in the headmaster's office. Sorry, I spoiled it for you. Oh, I just, I can't wait to see what's in there. Okay, so excited. This, this is, there are so many stairs. Why are there so many stairs? Oh, this is agony. Okay, we're here. It's fine. Patience. Again, don't know why I'm a Hufflepuff. Whoa. Open up! They're doing this on purpose. Oh my god, thank god. Solve Hogwarts secrets! Oh, and another staircase. Look at that. Look at that. Ten years later. Revelia. Oh, this is the room that's up above the headmaster's bedroom, isn't it? Because that was driving me nuts last time I played this. Oh my goodness. Quill of Acceptance and Book of Admittance. This is going to be super interesting. The Quill of Acceptance and the Book of Admittance were placed here by the founders and have not been touched since. Whoops. They record the name of every perspective prospective Hogwarts student the moment they first show signs of magic, although the quill is more lenient than the book, which will sometimes snap shut before a name is written if the evidence of magic is not dramatic enough. If they need drama, they have come to the right place. Just kidding. This is actually super cool because this is something that I don't think I personally, as a, as a you know, Harry Potter universe fan, I didn't know about. I don't even know if I really knew about the existence of it, so this is really cool to me to finally learn this. Revelio. Revelio. Collection updated, freestanding socks. What? Free. Well, I gotta look at that. Oh my god, I almost left without opening this one. I'm sorry, I know of all the things to be really fascinated with, wands are like, okay, but like, I find it so, I love them. I love collecting them. Dude, dude, it's a weapon in both ends. You could stab somebody with that thing. That that should be a certified weapon. And we got the, the other pointy end that sh just shoots pew pew magic. Like, this is awesome. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Look at my outfit. This outfit screams drama. 
I looked like Captain Hook. Minus the hook. Actually, no, not minus the hook. Of all the ones that we have. <laughs> of all the ones that we have, this is probably the most like a hook. I have a couple more like it, but you know. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I am Captain Hook. Please, for the love of God, and all that is holy, tell me that that is what I think it is. We gotta check this out. I look like my great aunt Tessie. I smell like my great aunt Tessie. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the game. Hands down, favorite thing in the game. Oh, would it break your immer- guys, shoot me straight, okay. Would it break your immersion of my playthrough if I tried to make my character look like Ronald Weasley? Or in my case, his actual great aunt Tessie. Do I need to do this? Do I need to do this? Do I- do I need to do this? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Come on in! Come on in! Don't be shy! What is it you might be interested in? Oh, I can't wait for this. Okay, I gotta find the perfect hairstyle for this. I don't know, guys. I, um, I've been, I've kind of went through all of them for the most part. And, um, you know, Ron generally has, like, a really shaggy unkempt kind of hairstyle because that's that's exactly he just he's a character who doesn't care he can't be bothered to do that essay you know stuff like that like he doesn't he doesn't really care he's just he's just 100 percent himself and he's always had a more shaggy longer unkempt hairstyle so you know i think i'm gonna settle on this one because this is really the only one that makes sense to me and actually i think this is gareth weasley's hairstyle who's kind of like, I'm assuming like a Weasley ancestor, so maybe this is truer to it. So I just gotta find the hair color. You know what? I think this is as like red as I'm gonna get for this, but... <laughs> you take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Oh my God, I can't wait to see. Okay, now I look like my great aunt Tessie. All right, guys, come on. Is this- is this gonna break your immersion? Is this gonna break your immersion if I play as- as Ron? For an episode? Or maybe just- just for a mission? Can we just do it for a let's do it for a mission. Ronald Weasley is about to make an appearance. I was trying to figure out what pants I was wanting for this because we gotta have something equally as gaudy. And I kind of wanted it to make the, the bow tie really, really stand out. And I do think that these pants nail it. Like, hit the, hit the nail on the head. So I think we're gonna do... We're about to represent. Let's go. Alright, Ron, I'm ready. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the Keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. Okay. Oh, this seems like a big, a big mission. Do I want, do I want to go forward with this as, as Ron? Like for this mission specifically? Maybe I, maybe I should do a mission after this cosplaying as Ronald Weasley. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I should go in there looking necessarily like this because of the gravity of the situation. BRB. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I just, I just got this quest. You would not only lied to me about your house, but you have made a fool of me in front of our friends and neighbors. Oh yes, it seems they knew you will march to Professor Black's office this instant and demand to be resorted. No child of mine is ever going to wear those colors. Ever. <laughs> Oh, this is giving Ron trauma. <laughs> Bed's empty. No note. Car gone. You could have died. You could have been seen. Takes me back, dude. Takes me back. 
Ron, Ron knows how that feels. So I figured this quest with where are you? Sebastian showed up, so here's my opportunity. Ron She's Weasley devastated. is going nowhere. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. That's serious. This just got really serious, and Ron... You know what? Maybe he's here today to, like, lighten up the situation a little bit. Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. <laughs> I don't know if I should go forward like this and this. This game needs to make you stop making me laugh so hard. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this quest seriously. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, please don't yell at me for this. I was, I was, genuinely, I was just trying to like do something really lighthearted. <laughs> but like, the dude, the gravity of this too, I, I, do, I can't do this. I can't do this and take the story seriously. And I want to be able to give the, give the quest, give the quest the respect that it deserves. And like... <laughs> can't I can't with this I really can't can I back out of this no but I'm gonna have to at least finish this okay let's do this don't worry Sebastian I shall speak with ominous thank you you're a good friend truly I no matter what happens from here I don't I'm know about that met. right now I don't know if oh, I'm Sebastian. the best of friends right now I should be taking your situation very seriously. But I can't do that dressed as Ronald Weasley. I just, I cannot do that. But alas, I have to keep going forward with this because it will not let me leave. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Oh, what? We should turn Sebastian in? We must not turn Sebastian in. <gasps> no. What, they're, why are they doing this to me? Because... I can't lie to save my life, and that's a part of, like, the Hufflepuff trait. When I actually took the quiz to see which house I belonged in, this was a major theme that the, that the test asked me about, which I found really, really interesting, because, yeah, this was literally the exact situation, situational question that I was asked in this quiz, and I answered it a very specific type of way. And to choose otherwise would be disingenuous to, like, the house that I was sorted into, like, probably what I would even do. And, you know, can't really look past the whole unforgivable curse thing. He did do something illegal. He also murdered his uncle. There is that little tidbit for me ethically, morally. Speaking from the heart right now, I think we gotta turn him in. We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. And he'll never flirt with me again. 
Ronald Weasley likes them bad boys. We must turn him in. I realize that, but it's the right thing to do. He killed his uncle. We've tried to justify his actions every step of the way, but this has gone too far. It has to stop. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll tell the headmaster. Oh, Farewell God. for now. I shall be in touch. Thank God. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Like, I can help make the decisions, man, but I like to be on the sidelines. I like, I'm a support character in real life. I like to sit on the sidelines, kind of watch, maybe give some, you know, something here and there, but not carry out, not carry it out. Like, you do you. You go ahead. Okay, so the Ronald Weasley cosplay went into an early retirement. <laughs> At least for now. That's going to be a post story endeavor because I just I want to I want to still get into the emotion and you know take the story serious <laughs> seriously so that I just wanted to hopefully brighten up your day and bring you some entertainment hopefully you found it funny that's really all I could hope for <laughs> according to the ally received Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated this is great news indeed we had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Oh, putting me on the spot. Okay. Professor, you received my L. Ranrock has the last of Bradball's journals. He killed Loggog to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok, Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Uh, maybe he did. Isidora told him? I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. Okay. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find what? a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Oh, we, do we get the, the finger An face exceptional things? level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Yeah, she's on to us. She sees everything. She knows how much extra time we're spending together. But I think this is where what what do they call the finger finger face thingies? Um Grap horns? Grap horns, right? That's like the only animal in the game that I have not seen yet, so. Oh Ooh, it looks like it's down there. Oh crap, dive bomb. Ah Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Of riding beasts now. I don't know where I am. Ooh, mine. Money. So it looks like it's just in this cave. Or not really a cave. Oh! You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. 
Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Oh, that's not good. All right then. Are those leaves? Those, if, Confringa! There we go. Is that a, it is. I believe I know what oh, must yeah. be done. It is. Do you recognize the head sculpted yeah. there? Well, yes. Kind of, yes. It looks like a grab horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grab horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. Oh. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grab horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. When he said Lord of the Shore, my, my brain automatically filled in the sentence. It was like Lord of the Rings. I'm ready. Wait, I have to subdue a grab horn. Have you ever subdued a grab horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, Stonehenge. of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. Okay, so with subduing and then the whole wearing it down thing, I'm assuming it's not going to be as easy as just shoving it in my knapsack? Like... If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. Of course. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Search for the Lord of the Shore. Oh my gosh. We had to go way south for this. <laughs> Some of the ruins around here have been so cool. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. You better sleep with one eye open, dude. Oh, <gasps> cool! Oh! Who lived here, I wonder? Oh, I wonder if that's the big sea creature that they were talking about. I was expecting, like, a live sea, sea creature. <gasps> Hello? Oh, it's in... in free. Can I transfigure it? Yes, I can. Confringo! Incendio! Boom. Confringo! Mine. I can't wait to see this thing. Revelio! Did I forget anything else? They look like Easter eggs. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's an easy enough Merlin trial. Huh. Wait, what does it say? Extreme danger. Turn back? No. No, I don't think I want to. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like a whale. Could it be? A Merlin trial. What? I've never seen this before. Not like there's like hundreds of them. Feels like it. Let's do bomb. Confringo. Oh, that works too. Um. Bavelia. Where are the other ones? Oh. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. There's one in here. Bombarda. Oh, there's one. Okay, or not? That's fine. Bombarda. Oh, is it too far out? There we go. Um, I think the last two are up here. <laughs> Put that cliff there. What? This must be the place. Oh. Nice. Okay, 
They all did take two hits. Okay. Okay, okay. Now for the main event. Oh god. No, no, it's not falling to my death. Oh sh- It might be falling to my death. Okay. Sorry. Very well. Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Oh, they're way scarier than I thought. Oh man! In the trailer, they look all cute and cuddly. Shoot! Oh, they don't. It, you are fierce. You don't want to. No, freezing is not for you, huh? Holy! Holy smokes! Okay, so we're not definitely not going to be levioso wobble. No, there's. I don't think that thing talks. Oh my god. No, I ain't getting close enough to use that thing on it. No, sir. Yeah, so, um, basically everything is. It's fine. It's fine. Sit down. Oh no, we just no, we just pissed it off more. Ah, I threw it at everything at it. Oh my god. Age of Magic throw for the win. No. Thank God I invested in Defendo. Ah. Attack Neil. What the heck? Oh, I just got chills. I just got chills. Why couldn't we just oh I need your help, friend. Call me Nightlight. The grappling is a powerful charge attack that deals a large amount of damage to enemies in certain barricades. Hold L2 to initiate. Keep an eye on the grappling stamina meter as charging will drain it. Okay, this might be the coolest part of the game. Trial 3 and the Deathly Hallows was infinitely cool. And this is this is this is up there. This is up there with that. Can you imagine charging in on this slow thing? Slow down now. There we go. Uh-uh. Don't slow down. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking no about. No need to race now, my friend. Shh. Shh. She's wrong. I'm wrong. Oof. Oh, wait. Oh, so that's how you charge it. Pouches. Oh, the Yeah. Eat it. You will not survive this fight. Come on. 
Oh, you're lucky I jumped over. <laughs> We're gonna skewer them. <laughs> the beast is safe now. I'm bloodthirsty. Okay, we're back on the road, and it'll take more than this to stop the Lord at the shore. Boom! Sure. <sighs> yeah, we had to ride all the way back here with this music. Why do I feel like intriguing. this can't be the we're end of the story? Bridge, whether you like it or not. Mm. Woman, isn't it? What? E-Grap Horn. Oh, or not. Stop or not. <laughs> Time for you all to clear out. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. This I'm trying to think of some good names for it. Nightlight? Yeah, I don't know. That's the only one that comes to to mind. Firefly? No need to race now, my friend. It glows like a firefly. And then fireflies are normally really, really tiny, but this is really, really large, so it's it's also funny for that reason. Okay. I needed it. Did not. Not. Is the grapple I'm gonna fit through that? What we're gonna find out? Nope. So you can open the door, but you can't go through the door. Sorry! Why do I feel like this is about to be so intense? Am I ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. Thanks. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Oh, okay, so the fourth trial was befriending a, a grab hook. Grab horn? Grab hook. Oh my god. What was I even trying to say? I don't know. Does it matter? A grab horn. How cool that they've changed up the last two trials. They made it something Rebellion. that you definitely did not expect. Is there any chests in here? Normally there's a chest in here. I don't see one glowing, so... Apparently this is, this is the big memory. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Oh. Mr. 
Nur genug Ei. I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. What about the her one father? keeper? First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neep was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. Oh, oh no. We must gather the others. But didn't she also take away... Her name is Neem, right? I think. The one keeper. Yeah! That... I need you to return to your common room. Alright? Oh, and this is where she's been doing it. Adora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. You taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! Oh! But she no. She's alive. Oh, so she's not dead. Well, she's she's dead, obviously. <gasps> wow. It's crazy how hearing that spell. It just it just elicits something in me every time. It's almost like if it had any other meaning, those words would mean nothing to me, those two words. But the fact it's like, I know what that does. Just hearing it, it just gives me shivers. Ugh. Wow, that got so dark. Hello. Oh. Caverns below Hogwarts where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday 
one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. Yeah. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. I think I know what wand it is. Grappling with the grap horn. Grap hook. I was like thinking of something else, but I know. I think I know what wand it is. I'm pretty sure it's this baby. I mean, I would stake a lot on this because it came in the collector's edition, so I think it has a big part to play in the game, but I hope it's this and get to wield it too. But that was so interesting though to see that and see how she was slowly turning people into these mindless, emotionless zombies because she was taking their pain away. But I wonder if that means that she was taking not just their pain away, but like just a lot of the emotion that went along with the pain that they felt. So that was really interesting. But man, every time I hear that spell, chills. There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Oh, dude, I love your outfit. I love that top hat. I love the color green. I love that all of it matches. And St. Patty's Day was just the other day, too, so that was kind of perfect. I feel like we're in the home stretch of the main quest. And uh, to be quite honest with you guys, I was not expecting to be this close to finishing the main story, and I'm actually really really kind of sad about it. <sighs> Consult with Gerald Ollivander. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. me pacing. Ooh. It is done. I'm ready. I'm ready. Show it to me. <laughs> I should warn you, I've never seen a wand like this before. 
My suspicion, I have. as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Is this like our own personal Elder Wand? Oh, Rookwood? I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. No, no, no. Oh, come, come. Wrong wand. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? Peace. The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. That makes sense why he was working with Ranrock then. What's that you've got there? <laughs> Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? No. I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> that repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> Ask him yourself. The arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Oh, no way. Did he do that to... Wait, did he put the curse on Anne? Oh my god, isn't that what Anne was told right before she was cursed? No more happy days for you. Okay. I'll make you wish you were back at school. Face <laughs> plant. You will pay for your ha ha! Time to take some How did that Look what you've done. Might want to look out. Incendio. Oh. Just the beginning. Oh man. There's a lot happening right now. What are your folks on electricity? Now, this has become personal. No, it got personal the second you started attacking me. We need some more. That was so intense. <laughs> should have joined me. Oh, we get to fight him now. Well done, for a child. Oh. A lamb to the slaughter. Oh, what? What? No, I can't block that. I can't block that. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Why am I being Ooh, Wow. Oh my goodness. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Did you both? Yeah. Oh, damn. There's Brookwood. I'm trying to like clear out everyone else before we go. Oh. Oh no! Oh man, ouch. 
Oh no! Hey, oh no! You're kidding me! I was getting like anxious during that fight the first time I just wasn't thinking straight. Oh man. Impressive! Stop that already! Don't see what you're doing! Ooh, that was good. There's so much happening! <laughs> it holds my- Oh my gosh! And all of my spells are on cooldown too! Oh my god! Why am I so overwhelmed by this? What a look Alright, I'm just taking this dude out. Ooh, no thank you. Ow. This is so overwhelming! Oh, I, oh, no. I still need to heal. No, where'd you go? Just made me waste that. Where are they? Is this what? Is this him right here? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Should have joined me. No. No, thank you. Oh! Wrong button, I was- it was triangle last time. This is hard. My thumb hurts. Oh, yeah, let's just go for him. I'm going with you. Can I throw something at him? You're done. <laughs> Victor, where are you? Nice. Nice. Now we're getting it. Build the wheel. Oh, okay. Nice. To your knees. Oh, what's the lot? Oh, I should have thrown that at him. Oh, I need something to throw at you. No, there's nothing. I thought you'd blow it up. Oh no. You know what? I think I need to speak to Brian. Yeah. I'll try to. Who said that? Come down here. No! That's just the beginning. Why is there so much happening? Where are you? Where are you? Alright, I'm gonna need to use the transfiguration spell to heal myself. That's fine too. Oh my god. I really want to turn somebody into a yes. Had enough. Turn Allow you into. You <laughs> there we go. No, come <laughs> to the. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have wasted all the ancient magic throws on all the other stuff. Oh. You know what? Here we go. Here we go. Transfigure. That's fine. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Boom. 
You, you and me now, baby. You and me now, baby. Uh huh. Oh, no bomb. Yo! Yes! <laughs> Getting to toss him around. Okay. Not going down this time. Mm -mm. That was... okay, that was the hardest fight. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an owl. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest and we can tell him about the symbol the Mooncalves made. Poppy, you cut me off. How rude. Ah. How rude. Wish I knew what I was going to say after that, but that was so tough. Oh my god. There were so many people in my brain which is like, what? What 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 do I look? What am I doing? What is life? I don't know. Revelia. But it, I can't believe he's just gone like that. <sighs> that was a great fight though. I kinda wanna do it again. I wish we could replay fights. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. <laughs> well, we're alone because we killed everybody. So Alright, I want to get this, and then maybe we'll do the poppy quest, since she just so kindly inserted herself into my dilemma. Okay. Gear slots are full, which does remind me, I do need to go to the room of requirement and sell some stuff. Alright, so I'm here to discover some stuff. Oh, yes, we have a couple. Yes, I'm so glad I did this. Once again, I would just love to bring attention to Hogwarts fashion. I found this coat. It's, it's, it's doing what it's doing. And for some reason, I just, I love it. It has so much character. I, again, the, the styles in this game is just, it's so fun to play around with. I'm so addicted to the fashion. And I have never had a game where I switch up the clothing nearly as much as this one. Every other game I feel like I've always found like a set piece that I really like that I, I like more than the others so I just stick with it and I I pretty much remain boring the whole time like I don't play around with it but this is so much fun when you constantly pick up new pieces to just try everything on and then throw together a totally different outfit. I have lost track of how many times I've switched my outfit in this game. And I have to put the grab horn in here. Lord of the Shore. Actually, we're not going to rename it. Oh my god, how cool! <laughs> I forgot, I was like, why is it following me around? It's, it's hungry. It's hungry. That is so cute. We should just... We should probably just... Oh my god, look, it wants nom noms. And pets. Oh. I mean, you, you get all the pets and the love too. Lord of the Shore, you just- oh my god. You're so cute. <laughs> the teeth, like the normal teeth, not like the big pointy scary ones. And it's like, if you took away like the tentacle finger things and the horns, and you made it furrier, it kind of reminds me of the dragon from Never Ending Story, I think it's called. I don't know what gave me that inspiration, but... Wait a second. Wait a second. This is not a drill. I was today years old when I realized that the unicorns had this iridescent pattern on it. As if they weren't already super magical. This is so cool. I want to see it eat now. Eat your Wheaties. Sorry, they were all out of the frosted ones. Oh, now I- And now I get to upgrade my stuff to like maximum upgrade for like a couple different things. Oh, I gotta wait 25 minutes? Unicorn hair? These are my f 
and today was the day that we saw a Graphorn shitty unicorn. It was a first time for everything. Or it's like that TV show Cat Dog, but it said it's Graphcorn. <laughs> you ever watch the show Cat Dog where like the cat and the dog were coming out of each other's butts? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. Please meet me as soon as possible. Yeah. I received an interesting owl from Joanna Bickle about Harlow. Joanna Bickle about Harlow. Ooh, okay. Okay, that makes me feel that makes me feel good now. Let's just feed and pet our Phoenix and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> I don't wanna see you coming out of nobody's butt. No no. Cause don't these things like spontaneously combust too? That would be really uncomfortable. I couldn't take the heat. Oh my goodness. Can I catch I can I rescue more of them? I mean, I'd have to assume you can you can rescue more than one Graphorn. You can rescue more than one Hippogriff, Thestral, Phoenix, Unicorn. So yeah, I need multiple. Gotta catch them all. So much to do, so little time. Ooh. Didn't forget about you. I think I harvested all of the hairs that I could. Let's go upgrade. Everyone in here needs something. Come here, where you going? Oh, you did not just purr. You did not just purr. Actually, I wanna, I wanna breed something. I really wanna breed something. Oh, Vivarian capacity reached. Dang, let me see. <laughs> Do we need four foopers? Yes, we need four foopers. What kind of question is that? I want to mate a moon calf and make a baby moon calf. Oh, look at you deserve it. You deserve that. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Stop. Seriously, something that cute should be illegal. Okay, you need food? You can just go feed, I mean, that's fine. Uh, ooh, there we go. You need nom noms. They're all eat. Oh, they all clearly skipped dinner time. Thank you. I needed. Where were the job and oh, I put the job and rolls in the beach. Wait, there you are. I need that. Thank you. Will you get pets. Where's another one? Pets. You too. Um, I'll have to come back for these other ones. Cause I want to go get a Jabbernal feather to upgrade. I forgot I put them out here on the beach. Where are they? Ah! Come here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet you really fast. So. You'll just be able to instant give me feathers. I know there is another one. Where are they? Summon? Summon. Where are you? Where did you go? Wait. There you are. He's like... <laughs> there you are. There we go. Okay, perfect. Ooh, perfect. That's more than enough. Well, let's just get this last one here. Oh my god, they're all so cute. I'm gonna have to come back and pet them in a little bit. Alright, here I am. I'm gonna do Natty's quest to end this. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Oh man. I just had like a moment while I was playing this game a little bit ago where like I had this thought and it kind of like weighed Are on me. Are you ready to finish Halo? That I feel like I'm almost done with the main story of this game and I I don't know if I'm ready for it. Like I have been looking forward to this game for so long and the thought of finishing the main story is like 
surprisingly overwhelming for me. Like, like what do I do after this? Obviously play it again and again and again at least three more times for each house, but this game means so much to me because it has literally changed my like my life, the course of my channel, everything. I thought I just thought I'd share that because it's it's so surreal and the thought of the thought of finishing it is just like I hadn't even I hadn't even really considered it. It didn't really hit me until just now and Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yes. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie, and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. We should take a moment? No, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. But at least we'll be able to close out this saga at the end of this. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. No. I already sent her an owl to okay. let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Yeah, she won't give up. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Oh my god. Where is he? I do not know. There he we is. Should look around. Oh. I'm ready for this fight. I'm ready. I'm finally ready. It took me all episode, but I'm ready. No. Yeah, that's where you tell him that. Oh, I forgot to switch that. Um, so you had that, and that. There we go. There we go. Now I'm ready. I'm not about to feed you pet food. Oh, I need this guy. Transfigure this guy. Or not. Oh, that's, that's fine, too. Sendo. Little Nat Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. Hufflepuff, that's right. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but. I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Villains, villains in their monologuing, I'm telling you. Oh, hello. There you are. Oh. What do you mean I'm not trying? Done. Bombarda. Bombarda. Oh. Here we go. Let's can I act him? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, 
Everyone's just thrown around the killing curse today. Don't you dare. Don't you dare! No, 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 Is she dead? Oh my god, she's not dead. 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 Oh, she's not dead. Oh, she's in the hospital wing. Okay. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Well, good to see your mom didn't kick your butt, so there's that. Oh my god, that... <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. That destroyed my emotions for a second. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Yes. Barely. God damn. Thanks to you. Only because of you. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days. <laughs> but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... <gasps> she just... She just... Intuition, gut reaction just jumped to save me. That's... You didn't think about it, you just acted. You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. <laughs> yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my <gasps> father... You, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's oh. very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all That's been a so bit cute. much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. I'm gonna need to go sit and process that. Wow. I, um... I feel like I have a lot to say after that episode. I'm gonna be really honest. I... experienced emotions and feelings that I was not ex like was not prepared for and was not expecting going into this episode which is kind of why I'm stopping it here and I don't actually know yet but this might be a shorter episode but it's because like I physically in this moment don't feel like I can carry on I need to save what's going to happen next I think for its final episode that's like the feeling that i'm getting deep down and i know this seems really over dramatic and weird and i'm really sorry about that but i am sometimes weird and over dramatic here we are take it or leave it i haven't really been keeping track of like where i've been in the main story in 
terms of how close to the end that I'm at. I kind of like to just do things and go with the flow and not really plan and schedule things and you know all that jazz but in doing so that has caused the ending of this game to sneak up on me and I wasn't really prepared for it where I feel like ending this game I do want to be prepared and for so many reasons for me personally like you playing this game right now like you're just like this is just a game whatever this game means so much to me and for my channel like i personally have been waiting th for this game for as long as i can remember since you know being introduced to the harry potter world and because of all the growth that i have seen on my channel because of this game <sighs> i never really sat down and reflected on the end of it and finishing it like finishing it my first time around obviously i want to do multiple playthroughs i even potentially want to stream a bad playthrough of me being on the more evil side which i think could be really fun but i have been enjoying this playthrough so genuinely and i feel like i say this about a lot of games but when a game is really good and you're getting really into it there's like a point where you realize it's going to end and you really don't want it to end for whatever reason whether you know if it has a really special place for you like it does for me or if you just really like the story i feel like now i have to come to terms with the idea of finishing this game <laughs> and then like what do i do what do i do after this i know there's so many games in my backlog that i'm gonna get to but this game has been so good it's almost like finishing a really good book or finishing a really good tv series you're just like Oh, like, what do I do after this? This has just been such a fantastic story and such a fun experience. And I have enjoyed sharing this game on my channel so much that, yeah, this is, this is going to be a really bittersweet ending. So, aside from all that rambling that I just did, I don't want to repeat myself, but I do want to kind of hit this home and say that whew, there was, like, a point in this episode where deep down I kind of had this like existential I don't want to say dread but it was like this existential crisis of like I just got like really anxious but also really excited at the same time I knew that I wanted to save the final mission and along with Poppy's final quest for her for her story I definitely want to save that for its own episode I do hope it's a long one but I know for a fact it's going to be a really, really good one. If you guys are looking forward to that one, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell button because I'm sure you do not want to miss the final episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Or at least the final episode, possibly for the main story. I do hope to stream me 100%ing my first playthrough with all of the collections and all that good stuff. I either might record and upload or stream a separate playthrough where, like I said before, go through and play more of an evil character. Either way, if you're looking forward to the final episode or some live streams, me 100%ing and hopefully platinuming the game one day, make sure to like, subscribe, click that bell button to get notified. Thank you guys again so much for watching this, I feel like emotional roller coaster of an episode. I hope you have a magical rest of your day and I'll see you next time.